there. We are Rob and Ali, and we are here to share with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. Today, we're in Noumea. Now, this is a little bit different. We have come into the port, uh, and we've got a shuttle to the uh, cruise terminal. Uh, we're not on a tour today, so we're just gonna tell you a little bit about some of the things that you can do. By yourself. By yourself, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, here we go. Keep watching. So immediately we come off the ship, which is a very simple process, just tap your card to check you. And there are a couple of buses here waiting. So we're walking down towards the, uh, the bus. Now I don't know how long this takes, but we will time it to see how long it takes. So we're on the bus now. It's gone pretty much straight away. So it's, uh, yeah. Look how touristy I look in this. I know, I know. <laughs> it's, uh, the time is 1.39, so we'll see how long this actually takes to get into town. And we're here, and it's 1.42. That was a three-minute bus ride. Okay, let's get off. So this is the International Cruise Terminal. This is where the ships used to come in, and I suspect the smaller ships still do come in here. As I said, I, I think it's maybe because of the size of Quantum of the Seas that we're not. What we don't have here are any ambassadors. We've raved on the ambassadors at other places that we've stopped at. Mm. They're the volunteers that give you the maps, tell you which way to go, the best things to see. So you're pretty much on your own when you get off here. Um, and there's no sort of tourist maps or anything. I have actually spotted where they do have the maps inside the port terminal. I'm just going to sneak through this crowd and get on. And it's called One Day in New Caledonia. It's a cruise stopover map. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we need. Um, yeah, we'll put this up on the website. 10 unmissable experiences in New Mir. Okay, that's, that's exactly, isn't it? That's what you want. So we didn't have the luxury of having this in advance and we'd already booked a tour. But we're gonna put this on the website for you. Um, and I would say, check this out and yep. get yourself prepared before you even arrive. I am just gonna do a quick rundown. If you get off the ship to do your own thing in Numea, you get off the ship, you cannot walk through the, through the port, you have to get a shuttle bus. There are plenty of shuttle buses. Unless you come in here. Laid on by the, um, by the cruise ship. Unless you're on a smaller cruise ship, which actually will come straight to the port here. Um, once you're inside, there's a few markets upstairs, little craft things and bits and pieces. Nothing of any great quality, but you can certainly pick up a little bargain um, of kind of Islander stuff. And then outside to the left, this is where your tour operators are for your day trips if you haven't got an organized trip from the ship. I've just seen an open top bus, it's kind of an open top London bus, has just gone past and that said something like explore Numea on it and you can also pick up the choo choo train which is another good one to do um, if you're doing a tour on your own. Let's go across and see what's available. There's the hop on hop off bus as well. The hop on hop 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 on hop off bus. I think it used to cost about 15 Australian dollars. We'll see how much it costs now, but basically it just goes up and down the, the Esplanade right the way down to the aquarium, I think, uh, and then back and you can just get off at the various places, Lemon Bay. Um, uh, if there's a map, we'll pick one up and put it up on the website. Uh, you just hop on, hop off uh, as much as you want all day long. And that's a very economic way to see some of the sites of Numea City. This is the hop on, hop off bus route. Here's the cruise ship terminal that takes you round here. Um, and then it'll take you to things like uh, Orphanage Bay, Lemon Beach, uh, and, Savata. and Savata. And then back again up this way and back through here, through the markets, back up to the, um, to the train, to the choo-choo train. So it's, yeah, it's quite a nice round trip. $15 it is here, so that's, that's a good bargain. And there are the buses over there. So you've got an open, open top bus and a closed in bus. If you're going to Lemon Bay, to be honest with you, it's probably a lot more uh, economic way of doing it than booking a tour on the ship. So this morning when ours was canceled, we had the option of doing, uh, going to Lemon Bay. It was 30 US dollars per person. 
uh, which is about 45 Australian dollars as it stands at the moment with the exchange rates. Uh, and all that is is the bus. That, that's just the bus um, to so get So you there. could literally get the shuttle bus from the Three cruise minutes. terminal, yep. hop off that, buy your tickets for $15 and the hop on, hop off bus that gives you a lovely tour round. You can, yeah, and you can see other places. there were lots of places to stop off. There were other bays to stop off. Yep, shopping it's centre. Here. You don't even have to walk. So no. we'd highly recommend that. There's yeah. nothing to do if you get off that shuttle bus and you haven't booked anything or you're not going to get on that, that bus. There's a supermarket here just to get your um, anything you've forgotten. And there is a big um, a chemist, big pharmaceutical um, shop here. And it's just at the aquarium, I think, within walking distance. No, no, the aquarium's right down the other end of uh, the Esplanade. Okay. So. Um, but there's nothing else to see here, but that's highly recommended is to just get that hop on hop off bus and go to some of the bays. Um, mm. It even has a sign to say that it stops off at a McDonald's. <laughs> it actually has that on. People yearning for their McDonald's. It does. Look, I, I wouldn't say there's nothing to do. If you've not been to Newmere before, there, there's probably plenty to do. It's a, it, it's it's capital city of New Caledonia. There's a shopping centre here. There's the square. There's the gardens. Um, yes, there's the hop on hop off bus. You can go and explore down there. You go down to Lemon Bay. You can get the choo choo train. Now the choo choo train also you can get from here off the ship that's uh, $45 per person that's a great trip that takes you all around takes you up the hills uh, so great views over the city over the harbour over the bays um, as a first tour if you're visiting New Mir from the first time my recommendation would be the first tour you do in New Mir is the Choo Choo Train that will give you a really good flavour good commentary and a good flavour of what the area is, is about and what it's like then maybe if you come back again, or, or if you're a two day, do the hop on hop up off bus, go see Lemon Bay, go and have a look at the Esplanade, and if you, if you like the aquarium, that sort of thing. But it'll take you down the Esplanade again, you can sort of stop off and do a little bit of exploring on your own. When I said there's nothing to do here, what I meant was, if you just get off that shuttle bus and don't move outside this area, you're not getting a true flavor of the beauty no. of, of Numea. Yeah, absolutely um, right. It is just a, a, a bit of a it's town. A city. It is a it's a city. city. It, it is like any other major city. <coughs> yeah, but it's, it's not a beautiful. Lot, it's it's a lot not smaller, a beautiful it's... city, and it's not a historic city. It's very much just concrete, is what I meant. So it is worth getting the choo-choo train or the hop-on hop-off bus yeah. and see some of the beautiful, gorgeous yeah. countryside. Yeah. So we'll just give you a quick scan round before we finish this up, and. The, uh, the square is up here, uh, supermarkets, and the hop on hop bus, hop on hop off bus will take you all the way down, down here. Plus some beautiful bays and some beautiful areas. So definitely, definitely worth giving that a go. So right here we actually have the choo choo train or the wiki wiki train, as it is, um, and it's called locally. It's not actually a train, as you can see. It's uh, it's more of a it's a road vehicle with some carriages behind. Uh, but it's, it's good fun, it's open air, it's good fun and you get some good commentary. So if you found this video informative, um, there's, there's not a great deal because we, as I said we didn't go on a tour, but if you found the information we provided informative, please hit the like button, please subscribe and hit the notification button so that you will see more of our videos. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting us and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.